Chanel's medium to large classic flap is already $10,200 and even the small classic flap is already $9,600. Let me tell you, the only Chanel bags are still worth buying after the recent price increase and the reason why. And I will share all the details about these bags including their price. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below to let me know which bag you think is still worth buying after the price increase. Let's get right into the video. If you pay attention to a lot of small leather goods bags from Chanel nowadays, their prices are over $3,000 and some of them are even over $4,000. These bags are super tiny. Just because they have a shoulder strap, their price has increased to this high. In my opinion, none of the Chanel small leather goods or super tiny little bags are worth buying after the recent price increase. The only thing from the small leather goods department that I would think to use it as a bag is my Chanel Classic Car Holder. My Chanel Classic Car Holder is in the caviar leather. It's also available in the lambskin as well. The reason I think it's still worth buying is because you can easily add a shoulder strap for this car holder to convert it into a micro bag that you can use. The key is actually it has a flap here. If you pick any other small goods or coin purse, they don't really have a flap which made it impossible to convert them into a handbag. So the flap style is the one that you want to go for. Even you use it as a car holder, the price still makes it worthwhile. It's just a really nice classic and versatile piece. The classic car holder used to be $550 when I bought it last year and after the recent price increase, the price has increased to $625. But honestly, I think $600 $25 to get a micro bag from Chanel is still worth it. Especially compared to a lot of other small bags with shoulder strap for thousands of dollars. I also personally think that the price for the Chanel Classic car holder will continue to go up as more people realize the usage of a handbag. If you want to know 11 different ways how you can wear this car holder as a handbag, I'll link my dedicated video down below for you to check it out after this video. Trust me, you will think it's more worthwhile after you watch the video. A bit more information on this car holder is the style in black is a classic piece that continue to be produced almost every season. However, it's actually not that easy to get it because even I waited for a couple months for this car holder. So I think the best way is that if you are aiming for this car holder, definitely let your essay know in advance or put you on the wait list or something like that. The next Chanel bag still worth buying after the recent price increase is Chanel's Rectangular Mini. The Rectangular Mini used to be $4,400 and now after the price price increase is $4,900 and after tax it will be sure to be over $5,000. The reason I think it's still worth buying is because it's just such a classic piece to get from Chanel. If any random seasonal flaps are over $5,000, I'd rather spend my money on a classic piece instead of a trendy seasonal piece. Even if I regret one day many years down the line, I will be able to resell this rectangular mini for much more higher price than the seasonal flat bags. Not that I would resell this mini. The other reason that you already know is the medium to classic flap is over $10,200. These classic flaps are double flaps and they hold their shape better. The rectangular mini is actually a single flap, but the fact that it's such a small bag, it doesn't really need a double flap to hold the shape so well. This is my medium to large classic flap and they essentially have the same look and it's just the double and single flap and the size difference. But for the rectangle mini, you get much better price versus value ratio for every dollar that you spend. The question becomes, do you want to spend over $10,000 for a classic flap or do you want to spend over $5,000 for a rectangular mini? For someone like me, have both of them in my collection, I'll be honest with you, at this price point, if anything, I really, really like about this classic flap, 
I would not be getting any classic flap from the boutique directly anymore but if I still see any color combo interesting or is exactly what I'm looking for I'm still willing to pull the trigger and spend the retail price to get it from directly for the rectangular mini what do you think the next chanel bag i think is still worth buying after the price increase is the chanel square mini and it used to be four thousand two hundred dollars after the price increase now it's four thousand seven hundred dollars it's kind of similar reason down the line as the rectangular mini why i think it's still worth buying like it has the classic look but not like ten thousand dollars plus the square mini is just super cute plus it's in high demand it's actually not that easy to get so if you could get one i'd say hold on to it enjoy it, and cherish it my caviar square mini was from 2018 after five years of owning this bag i have no single moment of regret and i'm still thrilled loving this cutie so much as to if you should go for a rectangular mini or a square mini i have a dedicated comparison video between these two included every single detail that you need to know and i'll link that video down below for you to check it out after this video but i do think both of them really worth buying even after the recent price increase the next chanel bag you know that i'm never a big fan of seasonal bags and they're quite some seasonal bags are less classic and you have to lose a lot of money when you try to resell in the future just in case if you ever change your mind on the bag especially when certain styles are out of date despite i love the chanel classic flap but because of the over ten thousand dollar price i'm definitely not willing to buy it from the boutique but i do think that there are a couple styles i still really really like and I think the best way for me to go forward is to find these styles from the reseller market and I'm also open to vintage style bags for example I don't know if you remember last year I purchased this vintage square mini from our online reseller last year I still love it so much I love the 24k gold plated hardware on the vintage bag and their price is way more affordable than the price in the boutique and I'm really really happy with this vintage purchase so I think a certain vintage bags are still worth buying price wise I think this one I paid a little over three thousand dollars compared to a brand new square mini from the boutique for over five thousand dollars I still think this one is really worthwhile as for style I think vintage classic flaps vintage minis vintage vanity case are all great style to look into as they all have the classic look and also better price compared to all other other current bags that are available in the boutique right now the next new is style bags i'm referring to are the major new is style bags that are coming out from chanel every few years for example like the boy bag the 22 bag the 19 bag etc i don't mean that i would get any is style bags when it's available i think i'm very particular about the things that i want for example my small boy with top handle in the calfskin and Virginia hardware after owning it for so many years and i still love this bag so much although the whole boy line didn't do that well for Chanel and it doesn't resell well either but I love it and enjoy it I hold on to it and I personally think it's worthwhile to me but I'm sure a lot of you would have different thoughts since this bag is really not for everyone a small boy in calfskin without the top handle is six thousand one hundred dollars from the boutique directly but if you resell you have to heavily discount it let me explain to you this by another example the new 22 bag it's quite popular and I was really interested in this bag at some point despite some super cute mini 22 bag just came out this season now it's safe to say that i am officially over the 22 bag and i think it was the past few seasons it just made me realize 22 bag is nice but it's not a bag that i'm willing to pull the trigger on don't be offended if you have the 22 bag but my point is that beauty is in the eye of the beholder essentially you have to find a one bag that you love and make you 
excited and you enjoy wearing it so that you would think it's worth buying for you. I'm really excited to always see the new Isal bags come out from Chanel every few years as I'm always hoping that I will be able to find something that I love. I can't wait to see what will be the next it bag after the 22 bag and I will only pull the trigger on the ones that make me feel it's worthwhile. Don't forget to leave me a comment to let me know which Chanel is still worth buying in your opinion. I would love to hear from you and I'll see you soon. Bye bye!